God bless, God bless, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless. All right, so basically, the Lord found me, amen, 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 and I got confirmation for the word that I just gave about unlocking the power of the saints. But first, um, because, you know, I do have, I do have opponents and people attacking me. Um, the Lord said, don't take it personal. And specifically, you know, Ephesians 6, 12, and we all know it, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, okay, in heavenly places. But more specifically, a caution, this is a caution against lashing out against human opponents as though they were real enemies and also against assuming that the battle can be fought using merely human resources principalities spiritual wickedness okay so this is this is one of those things that um you know i had this vision earlier and i was like where did i see this where did i see this and it's um in one of the x-men movies where the whole world was transformed and you could see it was almost like a like a bomb right and we, we could see the the waves and like in the atmosphere because that you, they can depict it with cinema and that's what prayer is like prayer radiates like that and it transforms amen now the word about the saints I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Basically that like hour and a half word can be summed up by this. And it says here. Hold on. I, you know, it, it's funny. No, no, no cars were going by. But I want to give the word and then they all come. But anyways. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened that ye may know what is the hope of his calling. And what the riches of his glory of his inheritance in the saints. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe. According to the work of his mighty power. Which he wrought in Christ. When he raised him from the dead. And set him at his own right hand. In the heavenly places. Far above all above all principality and power and might and dominion in every name that is named not only in this world but also in that which is to come amen 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 and then after that there's like two more two more verses and then it says uh new life in christ and and that's to be risen in christ jesus amen it's it's a beautiful thing to see him radiant, to see him glowing, to see him not harmed, to see him, to see him beat that wickedness, that evil, that e every tongue will confess that he is Lord, that he is King. Every tongue shall confess and every knee will bow down. Amen. But yes, the power of the saints is a very real thing. Um, and this can be found in Ephesians 1 15 prayer for wisdom and knowledge but I knew in my heart and this is this is just confirmation amen so may God bless you may God be with you and um you know hold on eyes of your understanding I gotta read the footnote before I let you go I'm so sorry <laughs> eyes of your understanding your mind and understanding or inner awareness hope has in has an objective quality of certainty it is the assurance of eternal life guaranteed by the present possession of the holy spirit amen calling see phil 314 okay there's a few other verses the glory of his inheritance in the saints either the inheritance we have from god or the inheritance god receives the saints themselves saints those whom god has called to be his own people all christians the world carried the idea of the dedication to a deity amen what's up <laughs> all right 
Go kill him. Oh, don't kill him, but go pray. Amen. Bye-bye.